Okay, so I have a comma separated file. Uh, let me display that out for you. We'll say cat uh, temp and it's called users.txt. Sorry, users with an S. There you go. You can see uh, there are four columns. Uh, first name, last name, username, and uh, sex. Uh, let's go in, let's edit that file. Uh, let's see, do I have Vim installed on here? Uh, yes, I do. Um, so Vim and the name of our file, users.txt. Let's go in here and let's change some things around. We'll change Jen to Jennifer. Change Chris to Christopher. Uh, we'll change Bob to Bobby. Oops. And we'll change Tom to Tim, just to have some different things in there. Now we'll save that, and we'll go back into uh, MySQL. So we're going to say uh, MySQL dash H localhost uh, dash U for user root. Uh, in this case, and dash P for password, and my password is Linux for my server. Okay, so here we are, we're inside here. Let's use Films by Chris. So we're going into that database. So we've changed database. And if we do uh, select all from users table, you can see all our users in there. Chris, Bob, Jen, Tom, Billy. And now let's take that information from that CSV file that we have and import it into here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say load data in file. And then we're going to give the name of the file, which in this case is temp users.txt. And we're going to say replace into table and the table name which is users and then we're going to say fields terminated by and inside single quotes here we'll put a comma and that's because our fields inside our CSV file our text file are divided up by commas then we're going to say lines terminated by and then side single quotes we're going to say backslash n which means new line which means it knows that when there's a new line in the csv file that means that it's going to be a new row in our database um, then i will put a semicolon there and hit enter and it says that it affected five rows uh, and those five rows uh, if we hit view all now, you can see that it added all that information from that uh, CSV file into here. Um, so if we run that command again, and we view all, you can see now that, excuse me, um, that it added the information once again, and we'll add it again. And you can see our list just keeps getting longer. So we have a real long list now. Um, now, uh, that's importing, so it, it's adding it to our our database there now. So now we have uh, 25 rows where we started off with five. So that's just importing uh, CSV files. Um, it's something that I don't know much about. This whole replace part, you would think that it might replace the information, but it doesn't. Uh, that's something I have to look into more. Uh, but basically, if you needed to... Uh, if you back your stuff up to a CSV file or if you already have a CSV file, uh, this is great for just importing it into this info, into a table. Um, thank you for watching. Please visit the links in the description. Uh, filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.